on so fuzzy and in today's video I'm going to be doing a uh, kind of reacting to such so gave my thoughts on new makeup releases that I have seen on trend mood so I'll put up all the pictures on screen for what I come across I'm just gonna be kind of talking about the ones that are cruelty free that jump out to me either good boring Negative, any type of thing. We hear a dog barking in the background. Some dog in my neighborhood is barking like crazy at the moment. So ignore that. But yeah, so all the pictures are from Trend Mood. I'll put um, a link to their Instagram down below, which is where I got all the pictures. Just because I don't own any of these. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first thing that I am noticing on Trend Mood's page is that they're coming out, sorry, they as in Colourpop is coming out with um, repackaged eyeliners, both the cream gel and then the pot gel liners. Um, they're doing two sets and it's basically the entire package is going to be the same color throughout and the lids on the gel is going to be the color of the liner. Uh, the gel, the pen type, the cream gel, is going to be a set of $89, whereas the pot is going to be $100 for all of them, or you can get them individually, which is at their normal price range. Um, I pretty much only use their um, cream liners, and those are the ones that I use all the time in my waterline. I have one of them on today, which is the DTLA one, which is their navy blue. I'm also wearing their eyeshadows today as well in case you guys were wondering. So I most likely am going to pick this up purely just because a bunch of mine are old. They're like a year old and I've used almost all of them up and I really like them and I'll probably try out the new potted ones just because those might be nice to do liner up top because some of those shades I definitely do not have something for but I don't know if I will be getting all of those. But the pencil one, I might get all those because I'm missing a, quite a bit. It's going down. Next, we have Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealers. And this one, looking at it, there's supposed to be how many different shades? 30 shades. And this is actually a picture of the swatches. I'll put another picture up with the actual thing when I get to that one on Trendwood's page. Um, I don't think there's a, a huge jump, especially in the light to medium range. That's a massive jump. It looks almost like fair to medium. And then deep has like five shades and dark has four shades. Which definitely, I think, leaves a lot to be desired. Like 30 is a good number, but... I feel like there's a bunch missing in there. Jeffrey did say in his video that he's going to be adding more in the future based off of people say there's stuff missing. I don't know if I'm going to try this one to be quite honest. It's $22 and only comes with 3.5 milliliter of product and I'm yeah I am running out of concealer so I do need a new concealer but I think I might just repurchase the Tarte Shape Tape and call it a day, to be quite honest. I don't know if I'm going to try that out. Too Faced? This is Too Faced. Next, and it looks like some liquid eyeliner. I have a bunch from ColourPop, so I don't think I'm going to try these ones out. And it's their peach one. Yeah, peaches and cream. It looks cool, but I'm unfortunately allergic to almost all Two Face items, so I don't buy from them. And each one is $22. And I'm pretty sure I have these exact same shades in ColourPop for $6. So, nope. Uh, Pure is coming out with a new foundation that is 40 shades. That's a lot of shades. However, they don't have any swatches. So I don't know, like, on this, I'm putting on screen tip for you guys, if this is actually a good range, because medium to tan look almost identical. 
but they do have an equal number in each of their five different categories from the looks of it and their complexion standard refined picture. So it could be a very good good range. It looks like it has a pump and a doe foot. I'm actually kind of curious how that works. Because it looks like it's on the same like component. Which means that I feel like the foundation would just go straight up and you wouldn't get a lot on the doe foot. But, or it's going to be impossible to pump out. That I actually might try. Plus I've never tried anything from um, Pure Cosmetics before. It comes out on the 19th. I might give this one a try because I'm decluttering a bunch of my foundations. I might give that one a try. That one actually looks pretty interesting and it has caught my eye. Um, we have Game of Thrones palette from Urban Decay. This one is actually now available. It's not a thing new like the coming out. It's already out. Um, I have watched a few seasons of Game of Thrones. I have not watched a bunch of the newer ones purely because I don't have HBO and it's not on Netflix. And I have more thing, better things I could do with my money, to be quite honest. Watching the show, paying it after the fact just to watch it. Though I really do want to get caught up and see all the things. But look at this palette. It's interesting the houses they chose. They have Winterfell, King's Landing, Targaryen, and then they have the White Walkers as being a house. Which I think is quite interesting. I know a bunch of the other houses are kind of out for the season, but it would have been nice if they like had Don Dorn or the Trolls. Because they were important families. Or even the Iron Isles. Because those guys are technically still in the game. Um, I mean they've paired up with the North. but And have and then half of them have gone off on their own. But it would be nice to see like houses represented for them. Versus the White Walkers. Which I get White Walkers. But I don't know. I feel like some of the colors that I'm seeing for them don't line up with what I would assume to be the houses, just personally. Um, also on the palette, I don't think it's worth $65 in my opinion. I wouldn't purchase it personally just because of that price point. So, next. Alright, here's one. This is from Tarte Cosmetics X Adeline Moran, I think is how you pronounce her name. It is a lemonade palette. It's got like nine shadows and then a highlight and a blush. I don't know why this palette, maybe it's because it's lemonade, is just calling out to me something that Maybelline released. Um, I feel like it was last summer they released it. I'll put it up on the screen if I can find, find it. This palette is just screaming that to me. That's not cruelty free. However, the other one, but... I don't know if I would per se get this just for nine eyeshadows, a highlight, and a blush. If you liked her, I guess that's why. It is $40, or $39, I should say. So a bit up there, so I don't really see something I'd be getting. But there's that. Another pop up. Alright, another color pop item. Oh, this one's actually, I already have. Okay. This is the Festival Collection, which is um, a collection of eight pressed glitters and four eyeshadows, which are actually pressed pigments because they do stain the skin, as well as a new white mascara and four new eyeliners and one re-released one. I do have one of the ones on my essay in the inner corner here. I have Light Show, which is one of the pressed glitters. I actually really like this. I did another look over on my Instagram. I'll put that up on the screen. So yeah, that came out. I'm, I think I caught up with that one before that one came out. I do like it. Let me know if you want a video on it. But there's that guy. Alright, next is from Milk Cosmetics. They are releasing a new eyeshadow stack. I have never tried anything from Milk Cosmetics before, but this is their Shape Shift collection. 
and it includes four eyeshadows in kind of a circular pan that kind of make like onto each other. And it is $48 for four shadows, which is a bit much, but I heard that people a battery cat up. I don't think I'm going to personally get those, but that does look very interesting. Um, next up is Jeffree Star, again. This is the Blue Blood Collection. And I'm only including this in here just purely because I wanted to talk about it. I'm kind of fur back in her. We're up to March in the timeline here. Um, so the Blue Blood Palette is pure blue palette. Um, comes with some liquid frost, which I don't think is something that I would ever wear, and most of them are blue, which is definitely not something I'd wear, and then some blue lipsticks. I just say a huge liquid lipstick declutter, and honestly, I don't wear a lot of weird colors anymore, so I wouldn't get those. But the blue palette, I do wear blue eyeshadow, as you can see on my eyes today, so I would maybe get this. Like, I would consider it. I'd keep the package for long enough to do a video and pictures for the blog. And then, honestly, I would declutter it. Not declutter it, depot it into a individual palette from, like, ColourPop, like one of their large pan mag palettes, because they are magnetic in the back. At least, um, Blood Sugar was. So... Because I depotted that one out of its container into a smaller palette that's like yay thick versus yay thick. And the other one's like even thicker. So I would personally take it out of the packaging once I was done taking pictures of it. So there is that. I would be curious because I do like blue. So I might get it one day, but not anytime soon. Also, I'm pretty sure every time I tried going to it, it'd be sold out. So. There's that. It's like 10 posts on the blue book collection. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Then I'm not seeing really anything else that's new, that's cruelty free at this point. And I'm several months back at this point. So I think I'm going to end it there. Um, like what you guys think about this type of video in the, like if you want to see more of these in the future. Or is it just a fun one-time only thing? If there's anything I mentioned that you'd like to see me try out, or the ones I mentioned that I might, I'm considering trying. Not that I am going to try them, because I'm trying to be on a low buy. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything I said I was going to pass on that you actually are going to go for or have gone for. Let me know as well, because I think it'd be kind of a fun discussion. Give this big old pause up if you liked it. Subscribe to the Howl Pack, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!